What's up, guys? Welcome back to TWE Charts. All right, today we're going to look at market cycles, okay? Specifically, a reference chart we're going to be looking at today, Carvana. Uh, the last video I talked about COSM. This is a very similar chart. Uh, we're just going into detail here. So we're going to talk about market cycles, distribution, declining, accumulation, and advancing. So this is just... Uh, a way to split up these smaller phases that are happening right now on the chart. And I think it's a really good way to, uh, to track and know where you are in the cycle when looking at, well, when we're looking at here, the 62-day cycle. So right now, I believe we're in accumulation. I think that AMC is about ready to start climbing back up. A few more days here we have before the price uh, goes into this advancing phase. So let's get straight to it, man. All right, down here we got Carvana. Carvana on the daily chart, guys. I'm going to zoom out here so you can see the entire chart. But this started declining back in 2021. That was the first phase we had. It was followed by distribution and then a large period of decline here before we started to accumulate. So it started to accumulate at the beginning of this year. And this is one of the stocks I talk about that has a similar correlation as far as the macro chart and the percentage uh, levels that both of them um, have. So Carvana went from $392 all the way down to three, okay? If we look at AMC, right, not looking at the trading view chart here, but the actual chart, the actual highs that it had in 2021, then we are looking at 771. So if you do the math, that's pretty much the same. This going from from almost $800 down to eight is the same as Carvana going from 370 down to three. All right, this is why I believe this is a good correlation to track. Now, the, the section here we're tracking this, this phase is in fractal form, so it's not one-to-one, -one, obviously, but we're looking at the structure of a pattern and I think this is a very good one. It's very accurate. So I'm going to pull it up here on the screen right above. And we're going to go over each phase. Starting from decline, this larger decline period had, and then going into what we are in currently right now, accumulation. All right, so here is that pattern. Okay, overlaid on top of AMC's. Okay, and right now it seems like we are in accumulation. You can see this little uh, little structure of a pattern comes up, comes back down, creates a higher low, but it still mimics what is a double bottom setup before it hits the advancing phase, which we call the projector. The projector pattern is a term I use for uh, these larger runs that that happen in the markets now. Um, this is not a chart to like, this is not a video to look specifically at what Carvana is going to do next because when you get to these periods, these consolidation periods in the market where they trade sideways, you can either be in accumulation where the price goes up or you can be in distribution where the price comes down. Uh, they're both the same. They're just attached to uh, either declining or advancing. Accumulation is attached to advancing. Distribution is attached to declining. All right, so this could be both. So we're not going to um, really talk much about that. We're going to talk about AMC here. And, and, and potentially, yeah, this could affect the way that Carvana moves in the future because at this rate, this is projected to happen here in the next few weeks. Uh, and down here, we're looking at Carvana's daily chart. And many times before, guys, we have used macro charts to track uh, patterns from happening because you know that the algorithm does repeat these these patterns on smaller intervals um, and it's yeah I mean th they're really good reference patterns so as you can see right here this one has been following pretty uh, pretty nice compared to uh, COSM as well has been following uh, and pretty accurate tracking right now and this is calling for upside in the coming weeks so going into this advancing phase, which we call the projector pattern, we take out everything here. We're just going to leave the accumulation and advancing phase in the chart. We're going to come back on. All 
All right. So going into the end of the week, um, this is calling for a move up to that $15 range, which is the first level of resistance that AMC would need to cross before the price continues to climb back up, right? So if we tie everything together here, so we have accumulation advancing using this fractal, which is Carvana here. And I'm going to pull up another, a few other ones here. Uh, you can see the levels are the same. The POIs here are tracking the same. And the cycle is calling for or this fractal here specifically would be calling for an inverse point of interest when looking at this entire red portion of the cycle. So you guys know how the cycle works. Uh, for those that are not familiar with this, go watch the first ever video I posted on this channel in the form of a song, man. All right, in the form of a song, go watch that. Um, go watch that video, man. It talks about the cycle, how it works. It's five minutes long, and pretty much these little sections of the cycle they either are they're either displayed uh, inverse on the chart reflected on the current chart inverse or identical and it's just the direction that we're tracking we're not we're not tracking the structure of the pattern really we're just tracking the direction so you can see right here in the beginning we have upside and then right here in the cycle we have downside this is an inverse point of interest in the cycle and the same thing goes for the entire chart so in periods where the markets tend to trade sideways, we find ourselves right in the middle, which is currently what's happening. We're currently in accumulation. And then in periods where the, where the cycle is going down or going up, we have the, the, uh, the identical positive version of that uh, point of interest, which would be upside. Or in this case, we would have the inverse pattern uh, playing out. Now, this is good. I think this is a good... A good uh, way that AMC could replicate this pattern if it is inverse it's setting it up to climb up on this portion of the cycle which is the macro point of interest that we call in the cycle this is where we see the volatility kick in on AMC and we have seen time and time again in the past just like we did this last cycle we just had an inverse squeeze right unfortunately so if this sets up as a projector going into October time, then the price can easily go into the, you know, the next, the next numbers here, the 40, 50, potentially even higher levels. Um, because guys, the stock does not, will not climb up that quickly uh, because we have halts in the market. So unless in the after hour session, AMC climbs from these levels all the way up to, you know, 70, 80, wherever, it's going to be extremely hard for that to happen in the intraday session. This is why we have these periods in the market of accumulation uh, and distribution, because they will uh, they will stall and make sure that the price is burning that theta, right? Is what we we call it in the for options. This is a period that you really don't want to trade because the markets are just killing that time. And decay for these the option values so same thing here in the markets that's how you're going to see it displayed that's how we know that amc's price is driven in the first place with the algorithm using the option chain as leverage okay so if we come up to this phase we go up to 15 the price trade sideways for a little bit in time for the october poi here then i think things are going to set up to climb even higher and this is where we can pull up other patterns right because carvana here is not telling us what is going to happen next is just giving us a potential level to track right now, which is the $15 level. But we have other fractals that we're tracking. We're tracking COSM, which displays a very similar version of that pattern. Now, this one here is calling for upside later in October time, but the levels are still very similar. They're very close, very much the same. Um, in this case, COSM... We have the same thing, guys. We have accumulation down here, okay? And then this right here is just a advancing phase here uh, and, and would be, so this would be considered reaccumulation, right? Projector pattern, and then you just have the price squeeze. Okay, so this is another potential candidate. This would just mean that the price would have to continue to rise and go up very quickly. It's a possibility. 
And there's many other patterns we're tracking. We're tracking plug right now, right? And all of these, the thing they have in common is not the structure, but it's the timing, right? We track the POIs here are very specific to their, their and unique to the, to the time in which the price goes up or down very quickly. And all of these are calling for upside inside this green and blue portion, which is the macro POI. We track every 62 days is when we have that 13-day window where, where the price tends to experience volatility. Not all the time, but it's pretty accurate. It has a good track record of uh, where we see volatility in that small window. Plug is right here. Okay, we have Tilray. We have another uh, version of Tilray. It's a macro version of, of that chart. I'm going to pull back a little bit here so you guys can see the rest. Now, some of these are going to be shifted a bit. Trading view, for some reason, shifts the charts. If you go from like the four hour to the daily or the two hour to the daily, it will shift the chart around a little bit. Uh, overst overstock is one we've been tracking for a little while, also calling for upside. We have NVAX calling for upside. We have Lucid calling for upside. Uh, AMC in 2020, here's the macro Tilray chart calling for upside. Um, and then we also have WorldCoin, guys. WorldCoin is a cryptocurrency. And I found this the other day, but you can see the, the structure here, right? Even on the micro or the, yeah, the micro chart going from July to August is basically this section right here. The price goes up, it gets shorted to the ground, and then here is your accumulation and then your advancing cycle, right? So all of these are calling for upside. I think that, you know, we're trading at extremely oversold levels. We've seen this time and time again with the changes ROC indicator. Okay, we've never seen these levels before. So unless AMC has absolutely the worst fundamentals possible, which we look at the end because we know the cycle likes to just manipulate around these catalysts, right? And, and the timing of these catalysts and if fundamentals are can be the best fundamentals that the price will still come down and then eventually will reverse back up um, in in the time that, that the algorithm wants, right? Unfortunately, but that is just the way the market works. So unless AMC has the, 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 the absolute worst fundamentals, um, I don't see why the price going up is, is, is not a possibility, right? So I'm bullish, man. I'm bullish. I think that we're, we've never seen these levels before. Uh, and think of it this way, right? AMC fell from 800, basically 800, to $8. So that's the same if you were looking at the original chart from 77. If AMC did not have the reverse split, it would currently be trading at around 77 cents, okay? Point, 0 0.77 cents. It's the same thing. We just had the reverse split, and now we're not trading in that dollar range. So, in a way, yeah, that's good. That's good. But um, aside from everything else that happened here in the last year, all this uh, crazy, just craziness, man, I don't know, that with the administration and everything, man, aside, uh, put that aside for now, right? We're looking at the current levels, and I think AMC is getting ready to climb back up. And remember, it's not financial advice. You got to take this. Um, as Trey used to say, right, with a grain of salt, because it is, it is true, guys. The markets are ugly sometimes, and they just, uh, you know, with specifically with this approach, we see sometimes these points of interest flip, and that is where it gets ugly. And a, a good example of this is this current setup on the chart, right? The price completely went down, and the complete opposite of what the cycle was calling for and uh, calling for uh, to the upside, right? We have an inverse POI. So you, these are the things that I am watching for here in case the price wants to keep going down, right? At that point, we talk about it, we get to that, but right now the price looks to be in a bullish accumulation phase, getting ready to climb back up, all right? So we'll see what happens, man, but AMC is up 5.7% today. It's looking good. I think going into the end of the week is when we're going to start to see the price really do some damage here. Um, but we'll see, man. We'll keep you guys updated. Remember, if you guys like this video, subscribe.
like this video, man. Share it with your family and friends, all that good stuff. And if you guys want more information on this approach, on how I, um, how I view the markets here with everybody else on the Discord, click the link below and it'll take you guys straight there. All righty? All right, bye-bye, guys.